It's February 22nd, George Washington's birthday. Let's get this short week started. Treasures from Trash, art students have been collaborating with a local gallery to exhibit recycled materials artwork. The work will be available for viewing at the Roundabout Art Collective Gallery starting Friday. A reception and gallery opening will take place from 6 to 9 on Friday at the gallery, and all members of the BHS community are invited. And in world news this morning, two Western journalists were killed earlier this morning in the Syrian city of Oms amid heavy shelling from government forces. Reports indicate one of those killed was reporter Marie Colvin, a British journalist. Here at home, the Wake County School Board has revised a plan to alter the start of the school day. Under the plan, 53 schools would have a scheduled change between 10 and 50 minutes. The school system said the changes would save a total of $12 million over the next two years. Broughton's start time is scheduled to change to 7.25 a.m. The FDA plans to investigate whether a form of caffeine sold in lipstick-shaped containers is safe for consumers. AeroShot is caffeine without the coffee, soda, or tea. It can be purchased in New York or Boston and online for only $3. And time for today's black history fact. Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated on his friend Maya Angelou's birthday on April 4, 1968. Maya Angelou stopped celebrating her birthday for many years afterward and sent flowers to Mrs. King every year up until her death in 2006. Now on to sports. And in world news today, the U.S. Postal Service announced yesterday new plans to consolidate or close 223 mail processing plants, putting 35,000 jobs at stake starting in late May or June. The processing plant consolidations would save $2.1 billion. And three children died early Thursday when a fire ripped through their home south of Jacksonville, North Carolina. Five other children in the house and their mother were injured. Firefighters responded shortly after 5 a.m. And police say a Wisconsin man took the Denny's restaurant chain slogan, American's Diner is Always Open Too Far, marching into one of the restaurants, announcing he was the new boss and cooking himself dinner. James Summers walked into a Madison Denny's on Tuesday, dressed in a maroon tie and black trench coat and carrying a briefcase. According to police, he strode into the manager's office, told her that he was the new manager, and then fixed himself a burger, fries, and a soda before police arrived. He was charged yesterday. And today's Black History Month fact, Dr. William Hinton is known worldwide for his two tests that detect syphilis. He's also known as the first African-American professor at Harvard University. Now on to sports. Today, in celebration of Earth Week, try and use a reusable water bottle. And if you drink soda, make sure you recycle your cans and bottles. Ban plastic bottles in your home and purchase aluminum or BPA-free bottles for each family member. SAFE has some interesting facts for us today, too. In 2006, the Pacific Institute estimated the production of bottled water produced more than 2.5 million tons of carbon dioxide. 60 million plastic bottles a day are disposed of in America alone. That's about 2.5 million bottles added to landfills every hour. And here's today's video message from SAFE. Five and a half hours to go until spring break. Good morning, Capitals. Let's find out what's up on the last day of third quarter. I'm Makita Bell, and here's what's up today. Safe members, don't forget that you're recycling bottles and cans today after school. Juniors, there will be no prom work days this weekend or next weekend. Building will resume the 14th and the 15th, and see a class advisor if you have any questions. 3 o'clock officially means spring break, but before then, make sure you've turned in your CAPS Camp staff applications and your guidance counselors need your next year classes printout by 3 o'clock. That's all for today, and have a great spring break.